All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I am Tony Leo from Fuel Cell Energy. Uh, first, real quick about Fuel Cell Energy. We are a company that manufactures a line of power plants based on carbonate fuel cell technology. We also do R&D on using carbonate fuel cells to do cool things like carbon capture, hydrogen production, and we also work on other types of fuel cells like solid oxide fuel cells. So this is real quickly, an idea of what a fuel cell system looks like. The picture on the left, of that fellow is holding a single carbonate fuel cell. There are 400 of them stacked behind him in the carbonate fuel cell stack. And we use one or four of those stacks in stack modules that are used in products that range from 250 kilowatts to 3.7 megawatts. And people deploy multiples of those if they want to do bigger projects. You can see up to 59 megawatts in this picture here. So these are just power generation systems, natural gas fuel or biogas fuel. So how do they work in carbon capture? Well, it's a tech talk, so here's some chemistry. So uh, fuel cells like batteries make electricity electrochemically. You have one electrode that produces electrons, another that consumes them, and an ion bridge between them that, that completes that reaction. In the case of carbonate fuel cells, that ion bridge is carbonate ions. And a unique aspect of this electrochemistry is that when you send in a molecule of methane, a molecule of CO2 is going to go out. But four extra molecules of CO2 are made in the fuel electrode, which get recycled back to the air electrode, which consumes them. So that internal recycle of CO2 is what we exploit to use carbonate fuel cells for carbon capture. The idea is that if you take the exhaust from a CO2 source, a coal plant, a natural gas plant, boiler, and send that exhaust into our air intake, the CO2 in that exhaust, which is very dilute, will be electrochemically pumped, basically, from our air electrodes into our fuel electrodes. And our fuel electrode stream is very, very small, so it concentrates that CO2 up to about 70%, and the rest is hydrogen and water. It's really easy to, to capture the CO2, to separate it out from that stream. So that's the basic idea. It only works while the fuel cell is making power, and that's what's so cool about it. It makes electricity while it captures carbon. So instead of reducing the output of a power plant, it actually makes more power. And that revenue stream is what we think can reduce the cost of CO2 uh, to, the, to where it needs to be, really, for this technology to be viable. So this is actually my last slide. Uh, our work has been supported for years by the US Department of Energy Office of Fossil Energy uh, with a focus on capture from coal sources. And while we were doing that work and publishing and presenting, uh, ExxonMobil started to follow it and basically said, hey, we're interested in capture from natural gas sources. Uh, and so that right now is the focus of our program. We just, we've been working in a joint development activity with Exxon focused on capture from natural gas sources. Natural gas is somewhat different from coal, very low CO2 levels, which makes it a little bit tougher. Um, and, and our fuel cells are essentially really good at making power and kind of good at capturing CO2. The focus of this program is to make them really good at capturing CO2, which they really have to be if you're going to capture from a low CO2 source, like a natural gas combined cycle. So basically, after a few years of working together, we just kicked off a two-year joint development activity. And our idea is after this two years, we'll be ready to do the first full-scale demonstration uh, of what we cook up. <laughs> over the next two years. Thank you.